afternoon, everybody. I, my name is Miss Jody from the Literacy Volunteers of Harrison County. Today I'm going to read you a Dr. Seuss book, but it's not like the Fox and the Sox or of those. This is a, a fairly long story about Horton, Hatches, and Egg. Is that high enough? So Horton is an elephant and he hatches an egg. So I have this little elephant. It's not really, it looks like him. Horton, but that's who we're going to talk about. And I'm going to put him over there. But elephant. Okay. It starts out with a bird called Maisie. Side Maisie, a lazy bird hatching an egg. I'm tired and I'm bored. And I've kinks in my leg. From sitting, just sitting here day after day. It's work. How I hate it. It's I'd much rather play. Getting close. I'd take a vacation, fly off for a rest, if I could find someone to sit on my nest. If I could find someone, I'd fly away free. Then Horton the elephant passed by her tree. Hello, called the lazy bird, smiling her best. You've nothing to do and I need a rest. Would you like to sit on my egg for a bit on my nest? The elephant sighed. Why have all the silly things? I haven't feathers and I haven't wings. Me on your egg? That doesn't make any sense. Your egg is so small, ma'am, and I'm so immense. Tut tut, answered Maisie. I know you're not small, but I'm sure you can do it. No trouble at all. Just sit on it softly. You're gentle and kind. Come, be a good fellow. I know you won't mind. I can't, said the elephant. Please, begged the bird. I won't be very long, sir. I'll give you my word. I'll hurry right back. Why, I'll never be missed. Very well, said the elephant, since you insist. You want a vacation? Go fly off and take it. I'll sit on your egg and I'll try not to break it. I'll stay and be faithful. I mean what I say. Toodaloo, said the bird, and fluttered away. Hmm, the first thing to do, murmured Horton, let's see. The first thing is to just pop, prop up this tree. Well, he was, the tree was up like this, and he had to hold it up because he was big in that might. But first to make it stronger, that has to be done. Before I get on it, I must weigh a ton. That's a lot of pounds. Then carefully, tenderly, gently he crept up the tree to the nest where the little egg slept. Now I'm going to show you a picture of this funny elephant in a tree sitting on an egg, which is a pretty silly idea if you think about it. An elephant sitting in the tree on a little bird's egg. Got it? Then Horton the elephant smiled. Now that's that. And he sat, and he sat, and he sat, and he sat. And he sat all that day. And he kept that egg warm. And he sat all that night through a terrible storm. And it poured, and it lightened, it thundered, it rumbled. This isn't much fun, the poor elephant grumbled. I wish he'd come back, because I'm cold and I'm wet. I hope that Maisie Bird doesn't forget. But Maisie by this time was far beyond reach, enjoying the sunshine way off in Palm Beach. And having such fun and such a wonderful rest, decided she'd never go back to the nest. So Horton kept sitting there day by day, and soon it was autumn. The leaves flew away, and then came winter, the snow and sleet, and icicles hung from the trunk and his feet. But Horton kept sitting and said with a sneeze, I'll stay on this egg and I won't let it freeze. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. An elephant's faithful 100%. Here's a picture of Horton sitting in the tree in the snow. Poor Horton. Okay. 
So poor Horton sat there the whole winter through. And then came the springtime with troubles anew. His friends gathered round and they shouted with glee. Look, Horton the elephant's up in a tree. They taunted, they teased him. They yelled, how absurd. Old Horton the elephant thinks he's a bird. You know how bullies can tease somebody who thinks they're doing something strange. And they were bullying poor Horton. They laughed and they laughed and then they all ran away. And Horton was lonely. He wanted to play. But he sat on the egg and continued to say, I meant what I said and I said what I meant. And the elephant's faithful 100%. No matter what happens, this egg must be tended. But poor Horton's troubles were far, far from ended. For while Horton sat there, so faithful, so kind, three hunters came sneaking up softly from behind. Can you imagine hunters when they saw a bird, a, a big elephant up in a tree? He heard the men's footsteps. He turned with a start. Three rifles were aiming right at his heart. Did he run? Did he not? Horton stayed on that nest. He held his head high and threw out his chest and, the hunt and looked at the hunters as much as to say, shoot if you must, but I won't run away. I meant what I said and I said what I meant. And the elephant's faithful, 100%. Okay. The men didn't shoot. Much to Horton's surprise, they dropped their guns and they stared with their wide eyes. Look, they all shouted. Such a thing can that be? An elephant sitting up in a tree? It's strange. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's new. Don't shoot him. We'll catch him. That's just what we'll do. Let's take him alive. Why, that's terribly funny. We'll sell him back home to a circus for money. And the first thing he knew, they had built a big wagon with ropes on the front for the pullers to drag on. They dug up his tree and put it inside with Horton so sad that he practically cried. We're off, said the man. And off they went with Horton unhappy, 100%. Now here's Horton in his, on his tree in a wagon being dragged away. Where are they going to take him? Okay. Up out of the jungle, up into the sky, up over a mountain 10,000 feet high. Then down the mountain and down to the sea went the cart with the elephant, egg, nest, and tree. Then out of the wagon and onto a ship, out over the ocean. Oh, what a trip! Rolling and tossing and splashed with the spray, and Horton said day after day, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. But oh, I am seasick 100%. Okay, now El Horton is in his tree and his egg. After bobbing around for two weeks like a cork, they landed at last in the town of New York. All ashore, the men shouted, and down with a hatch went Horton the elephant and still sat on his perch. Tied onto a board, they could scarcely hold him. Bump, Horton laughed it, landed, and then the men sold him. Sold to a circus, then week after week, they showed him to people at 10 cents a peak. They took him to Boston and Kalamazoo, to Chicago, to Weehawken, and Washington too. To Dayton, Ohio, St. Paul, Minnesota, to Wichita, Kansas, to Drake, North Dakota. They took him all over the United States. And everywhere thousands of folks flocked to see and laugh at the elephant up in a tree. Poor Horton grew sadder the farther he went. But he said as he sat in his hot, noisy tent, I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. And the elephant's faithful, 100%. Okay. Then one day, 
The circus show happened to reach a town way down south, not so far from Palm Beach. And dawdling along the way up high in the sky, who, of all people, should chance to fly by? But that good old good-for-nothing runaway Maisie, still on vacation and still just as lazy. And spying the flags in the tent way below, she sang out, What fun! I'll go to the show! Because she's been in the beach. And she swooped from the clouds through the open tent door. Good gracious, Grass Maisie, I've seen you before. Poor Horton looked up with his face white as chalk. He started to speak, but before he could talk, here it comes. Before he could talk, there rang out the noisiest, ear splitting squeaks from the egg that he sat on for 51 weeks. A thumping, a bumping, a wild, alive scratching. My egg, shouted Horton, my egg, why it's hatching. He sat on that egg almost a year. But it's mine, screamed the bird when she heard the egg crack. The work was all done. Now she wanted it back. It's my egg, she sputtered. You stole it from me. Get off my nest and get out of my tree. Poor Horton backed down with a sad, heavy heart. Does he look sad? Does he look sad? Yeah, he looks sad. But at that very moment, the egg burst apart, and out of the pieces of red and white shell from the egg that he'd sat on so long and so well, Hort the elephant saw something whiz. It had ears and a tail and a trunk just like his. Aha! And the people came shouting, what's all this about? They looked and they stared and their eyes popping out. And they cheered and they cheered and they cheered more and more. They'd never seen anything like that before. My goodness, my goodness, shouted, my word. It's something brand new. It's an elephant bird. It should be, it should be. It should be like that because Horton was faithful and he sat and he sat. He meant what he said and he said what he meant. And they sent him home happy. 100%. Now I have to show you the picture of here's Horton with the little elephant bird. And that's what finally hatched. It was a funny little thing. When he sat on the egg, it turned like that. So they went back. So they went back to the jungle. And there is, now I'm going to show you this picture. There's Horton coming back to the jungle with the elephant bird. Now I don't think Maisie ever showed up again. No, nope, we never saw Maisie again because it was Horton's little bird. And I don't have a bird for Horton, but there's our little elephant and he sat in a tree. Thank you for coming. Isn't that a funny story? Dr. Seuss told this one like a lot of his others, but this is about Horton who hatches an egg.